What's good, everybody? It's Player Faces, Tattoos, and Shoes, and these are the Minnesota Timberwolves. And you can look at these ratings. You can already tell they have taken over pretty much as the probably the worst team in the NBA right now. I mean, if you, you know, they had all their players and people weren't injured, probably wouldn't be that the case. But right now, sitting the product that they put on the floor at the present moment, but Shabazz Muhammad is the number one rated guy. You got to say, they got the... And, you know, they got the worst team, you know. I remember back when I first started putting draft classes on YouTube, Shabazz Muhammad was like the first guy I created. I thought it looked, I thought I did a good job back then. But now as I look at the real one on the game, I realize I didn't do so good after all. Nonetheless, this is still Shabazz Muhammad, 77 overall. I mean, I'm happy for him, though, having, you know, stepping up, having a decent, a decent, decent season, wearing the crazy light boost. But yeah, I mean, you know, he he's on he's been on a journey like D League and all of that from being a lottery pick. So it's been a been up and down, but you know, doing all right. 22 years old still. Here's Gorge Jang. Gorge. Why is Gorge Jang's face gray? Looks like he like had on Rey Mysterio's mask and had powder in it and nobody told him. So he took it off and he half smiling because he thought it was cute, but they don't realize his face is full of powder. I don't know what happened, but I like Gorgie. I like Gorgie Jang's game. He is he's better around the basket, like in the post, than people give him credit for. But he's really a rim protector, shot blocker, rebounder. I like his game. Pretty good, definitely. What are you wearing? You're wearing Hyper Dunk 2014s. Yes. Now he's only 24, so he still got some upside. You know, so I, I'm telling you, he's a, he's a solid young player. Next up, Thaddeus Young. He got a lot of dark spots. It's all over his face. Darkness. Darkness over here. Darkness over there. Darkness over the lips. Darkness over the eyes. What is with all the darkness? But he is one of the most underrated players in the league. I really like his game. Plays good defense. Finishes at the basket. Jump shot has vastly improved. Left-handed. Kind of a tricky guy. Wearing the LeBron 11 lows. And, um, yeah, I like his game. Definitely. I, I think he's, you know, one of, like I said, one of the more underrated players in the league. Right now, my favorite rookie outside of Nikola Miritich, of course, best based off Bulls biased, is Andrew Wiggins. He was my pick for the rookie of the year from the beginning. Um, he has a good chance to win it, I still think. But Miritich is creeping up a little bit. Creeping up on him. But Wiggins, it in you know in the long run, I still think Wiggins will be the best player. He got to learn some stuff. He should have probably had the little baby boy body frame, but they didn't give it to him. What are you wearing? Crazy light boost. When is Wiggins gonna get his own shoes? I guess he might have to like really really make a mark first. But you know he's having a good season though. I mean just, just look at what's it? 14 and a half points a game, 4.2 rebounds, assist numbers not too impressive, but 1.1 steals, shooting 42% from the, from the field. I mean that ain't bad. I don't think that's bad. He's only 19. You got to remember that. He's only 19 years old. Mo Williams. A lot of people thought he was going to really do well in fantasy basketball once Ricky Rubio went down, but he kind of just there, you know. But Mo's had a good career. Um, this is a really good render, too. He's had a, real, a really good career. Um, you know, not superstar level or anything like that, but he's had a really solid career. Wearing the Kobe 9 EMs. That is Mo Williams. Let's go to Robbie Hummel. Robbie Hummel, I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I'm surprised. I, I'm, it's, it's good, I'm, I'm happy for him. Surprised he's still in the league, he's in the league at all, period, because his knees were so bad in college that that was a, really a big issue, worrying about whether or not his knees were gonna hold up. And they have, and he's in the league. I mean, he's wearing Hyper Dunk 2014, maybe that's got something to do with it, helping the knees stay a little healthy, but you know he's done real well to still be in the league. Anthony Bennett, former number one pick overall by the Cleveland Cavaliers. He also got the ashy. He got the ashy face. I don't know. This is a better render than last year, but he had on Rey Mysterio's mask, too. I don't know. Back of his head is ultimate. It's just super flat, though, too. I don't know what's going on there. But he looked like a little baby out the face. I mean, he's like 11 years old. I mean, it's something. He's 6'8", 260 pounds, but when you get up to his face, he looks like, you know, he's still in high school. He looked like my nephew. It's just, it just, you know, I don't know what's good. Zoom Crusader. That's an awesome thing, though. You know, somebody that young, just, you know, people can say they bust all they want, but 
I'm gonna show you something in one second. Bust that. Two years, $11.37 million. You, you go ahead and bust that. What are you talking about a bust? Bust on that. That's, ain't gonna, nobody gonna bust that, right? Here's Zach Levine. This is an excellent render. It can't get no better than this. He is one of the best in-game dunkers right now in the league. I'm waiting to see if he takes an invitation to the dunk contest this year. I think he probably will. I think he's got a good chance to win. He should actually be one of the skinny baby boy bodies because he's only 181 pounds. Uh, so I don't know where they're getting this bulk from with him. But he's one of the first guys I played with. When we went to the 2K team up, I went up there and we played with him. He was unstoppable. I mean, you couldn't do nothing with him. I think they toned him down a little bit since then. But he's wearing the Kobe 9s. And, yeah, love Zach Levine's game. 19, shoot first point guard. Ultimately, I don't know if he's going to stay at point, but... Um, I don't know. Depends on the depends on the backcourt mate he's got, but you know we'll see. Chase Budinger. Before the injuries, he had some hops. You know, he could shoot the three. Pretty good defender. Look a little sad here though. What happened, Chase? Somebody lose yourself? You you can't find your hat. He looked like one of the little boys lost his hat. You know he's gonna get in trouble when he get home because he ain't got his hat. Mama told you keep your hat in your sleeve. You know how it is. You keep your hat and your gloves and your sleeves, so can't leave them. You remember that. That's him. Chase Bunger, 6'7", 218 pounds. He's wearing the Team Lightnings. These are the Peaks. These, but the, I'm telling you, Peak got some odd dudes wearing their shoes. They got like Chase Budinger, Stuart Holloway, whoever, anybody. Just any. You don't know none of the people that's wearing their shoes, but they, you know. This is Troy Daniels. He's a good shooter. You look a little crazy here. He he, <laughs> it looked like a surprise squirrel. Who says a nut over here? A nut? Where's a nut at? I don't know what's going on, but he his eyes are abnormally large and just very. He's frightened. He's got the mohawk, but he this dude can really shoot the ball. He can't do that much else, but hey, being able to shoot has got him in the league. Zoom Crusaders is what he's rocking. And he's still shocked about it. Look at him. He cannot believe what I'm saying. Yeah. I know. I know. Glenn Robinson the third Little big dog or little dog or small dog. Um, miniature dog. Whatever kind of dog. His dad, his dad is Glenn Robinson, uh, the big dog. And you might not. Some people don't really. They don't believe me when I say this. But from a pure talent standpoint. I think the Glenn Robinson the third is right here in the same physical in terms of physical talent, same level as Andrew Wiggins, Jabari Parker. He just don't have that dog in him. You know, and I hate to say that because your daddy's name is the big dog, but he just don't have that drive that would make him on that next level. Cause physically he can do pretty much all, everything those guys can do. And in some ways I think he might even be more skilled, like with handling the ball and things, wearing the way away 2.0s. Uh, leanings, but I don't know what it is. It's something, something there that is missing, and that is the reason why he's a rated a 68 on the game. But that's what it is. Then we got Miroslav Radojica. That's right. That's what I just said. Yeah, he had a very long head. It's like Miles Plumley with more of a beard and a fatter face. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I think he, he, like he used to be, he was in Duck Dynasty and they, they told him he couldn't be in it no more. He grew too big or something. But this is this is a good render. The beard is sick. I mean, look at the texture. It looks like it's real. Coming out, your, coming out the screen at you. Got two little moles on his eye. Never, I don't know what that is. But yeah, Duck Dynasty. Miroslav Radojica. Seven foot two. That tattoo though is serious art, ain't it? It's a lot going on there. Look like a look like a a sumo wrestler wrestling a snake with a bottle of wine and two peppermints at the bottom. I don't know what that is, but whatever goes on is what it got. Okay. Hyper Dunk 2014s. Uh, go on and get a Miroslav Radojica. Ricky, Ricky Rubio. Um, you gotta get a jump shot. Stop playing a little bit better defense, but mostly got to get the jump shot. He's sad, too. Look at him. He hurt. He, you know, things ain't going so well. 
he got the, the, the my man's eyebrows is like he got another uh, um, he he got like a, a, a four year old's head of hair over his over each eye. It's a lot of hair on his eyebrow. I wonder how he feels though with the whole little baby boy body. I wonder how he feels about the whole situation in Minnesota right now. Crazy light boost. I mean because. I mean, well, you know, he's got Andrew Wiggins, but he, I mean, five years, $60.25 million contract. I mean, he going to be there probably unless they give up on him. He going to be there. So I wonder how they feel. I wonder how he feels about things right now. Kevin Martin, there's some rumors, or not, I shouldn't say rumors, more it's like speculation running around that the Bulls might trade for Kevin Martin to try to add some depth, depth at the wing position. I mean, I wouldn't be totally opposed to it because he can score. Yeah, he can get to the free throw line. But it depends on what they're talking about giving up. You know, I just, he got the baby boy back. Uh, but I, I, you know, and also, I think the Bulls, from a chemistry standpoint, and I'm and this is mostly on defense, I still think they're trying to find themselves. Because of why they're not horrible defensively, they're definitely not consistent. Um, they're not playing defense on the level that they uh, have been in the past. And it's kind of hard to figure that out because the back end of the defense is better with Casal there instead of Boozer. But other areas, it's not quite where it, where you would want it to be. So I don't know if adding a dude, another guy, another newcomer, another newcomer is going to really do anything for that. CP3 eights. He's the best looking CP3s ever because I never like his shoes. But those are those are the best ones I've seen. We got Nikola Pekovic. He's like a Russian hitman, don't he? A big, big. If you want to make a list of all the people in the NBA who you don't want to choke you. Now, you don't want nobody to choke you. That's not good. It don't feel good. But if you was to make a list of the people like the ones at the top, like absolutely don't let him choke me, it's him. He's at the top. He's at the top. This is a big, fierce, fierce looking person. And he might be the nicest guy in the world, but he looked the Wait a minute, he got a big, somebody standing on a bunch of skulls on the top of his arm. There's a man holding a shield standing on some skulls. So that matches what I'm talking about. He might, he might kill you. You don't even know it. And you don't even know it. We're in the Hyperdunk 2014s. But look at this. I'm going to show you something. 6'11", 290 pounds. That's a huge man. You don't want to be, you don't want, you don't want that work. You don't want that work. You don't need it. He's a out with a sore wrist, though. Maybe from punching somebody. You never know. Whatever. This is Player Faces, Tattoos, and Shoes, Minnesota Timberwolves. Peace.